Meteorologist Ginger Jeffries with more on weather. Ginger. Yes, you can see the buzzsaw created by Hurricane Matthew, and it is leaving quite a bit of destruction in its wake, but also lots of concern up and down the eastern seaboard of Florida. As you can see, it looks like the northwest quadrant of this hurricane is packing the most powerful punch, and of course, that's what's headed for Florida. I'm going to track this for you. I want to step out of frame because there's a lot of data coming your way right now. Matthew, a category three storm with winds upwards of 120 miles an hour expected to gain strength so it should be bumped up to a category 4 hurricane before moving at least the eye wall moving on shore sometime between Friday early morning and the afternoon hours right now they're projecting this to be between West Palm Beach and Daytona Beach before headed back out off the coastline now the rainfall totals could get upwards of 15 inches for Florida the most deadly component of a hurricane however is the storm surge so that wall of water that moves on shore. Right now, we've got 88 degrees overhead, low 70s along the coastline, so very different situation going on for the Coachella Valley. It's going to be warm and dry. We're continuing with this theme tomorrow as temperatures once again achieve below normal status. But we've got a big weekend coming up. Your desert trip forecast looks like this 93 to about 95 on Saturday. Overnights in the mid 60s. Is there a concern about wind, though? We're going to take a close look at that coming up. My complete forecast, Thalia. All right.